Finally on 7, another Detroit strip club showdown over allegations of sex for money behind closed doors. And it comes not long after the city of Detroit forced the popular penthouse to close its doors. 7 Action News reporter Simon Shaquette explains from the east side. The city of Detroit says Tycoon's Adult Entertainment Club has been allowing prostitution to go on inside here for months, and now their attorney is responding. I've been here for a while, so when I first moved, it was much nicer than it is now. Known around the neighborhood as beautiful, this Detroiter reacts to learning the city of Detroit filed a lawsuit alleging Tycoon's Club on 8 Mile is operating as a public nuisance. We have uh, evidence of uh, sex for hire, prostitution that's going on. Those people um, that we have talked to are offended. Attorney Doug Baker with the city law department says the facts are simple and involved police vice units finding women employed here performing sexual acts for money. Doug also says warnings made by the city for months failed to get results. We are not admitting to anything. Here's what I will admit to. My client is dedicated to being a corporate citizen in good standing will do anything to work with the city of Detroit. With Penthouse Club already forced to shut down for a year and liquidate assets inside, the city is sending a strong message. Attorney David Draper offering this rebuttal to the lawsuit as well as a pledge. We want our client to keep operating, keep operating legally, follow whatever rules are put down. As long as uh, we're notified of what the rules are, what, what are the playing uh, uh, No prostitution. <laughs> no prostitution, absolutely not. Both sides tell us they still think some type of settlement could perhaps be reached. If not, they will have to fight it out in court in early November. From Detroit's east side, Simon Shaquette, 7 Action News. Simon, thank you.